In this video, we are going to build an empty Spring Boot project for our online store, create SQL scripts for our future database, and uh, we are going to push our empty project to GitHub. First thing we're gonna do is navigate to Spring Starter and create an empty project with all the needed dependencies. I'm gonna select Maven project, language Java, change group name from com example to com Java master. I'm gonna rename artifact to online store. I'm gonna change description from demo project for Spring Boot to online project online web store project and I'm gonna change package name to just com Java master I'm gonna select Java 11 and then I navigate to dependencies and select required dependencies for my application it's web GPA and Lombok security PostgreSQL driver and that's it for now uh, this uh, that's all dependencies I need for my project I click generate and my project is downloaded I navigate to downloads and unzip it. After I just open the project with my preferred idea. As far as you know, guys, my preferred idea is IntelliJ IDEA, but you can program with any idea you like. I open my project in my IntelliJ IDEA. Now my IntelliJ IDEA navigates to pomxml and downloads required dependencies from my pomxml file. For now I go, I'm gonna create navigate to my github and create new repository. I'm gonna na name it online store example and I'm gonna create uh, make it public for you guys to download it in your profiles and I'm gonna click create repository uh, for now that's all. I just navigate to my IntelliJ IDEA and try to create SQL scripts for my database design. I'm gonna use IntelliJ IDEA database client, but you can use any client you want. You can even uh, choose, for example, SQL scripts to uh, create your database. But I'm gonna use IntelliJ IDEA as a data, database client. I'm gonna select Postgres, enter my credentials, and that's it. First thing I um, need to do, I need to do is just to create new database. I'm gonna call it online store and next thing I just need public schema actually public schema is already created but I don't know it's maybe a bug in IntelliJ IDEA it doesn't display it until I uh, 
created manually, it shows me an error that public schema is already exist and then it displays me. But I think it's just a bug in IntelliJ IDEA. As you can see, I have an error that public schema already exists. I close the error and that's it. My public schema is in my online store database. Now I create first table. First table is gonna be a product table. Product. Product table will have ID column with auto increment and primary key. Next is title with var char type. And it should be not null. Next is description with text image. I'm gonna store my image in base64 format so I'm gonna uh, create text uh, type for my image field and price. I'm gonna store price in double That's it. I'm gonna copy paste this SQL script to put this SQL script in my script um, file. Type double doesn't exist. That's it. Now it looks good. And I'm gonna create new file and call it script SQL. I'm gonna paste my uh, table. Next table I'm gonna create is, is user. And I'm gonna add fields the same way as I did for product. I set restriction for email uh, because I expect that emails uh, are unique for every user and I'm gonna use email in future to authorize my user in my application so I expect that email is mandatory field. I create a big length for password because I'm gonna store password encrypted. It uh, requires a lot of uh, a lot of length for encrypted password. I'm gonna create even 300. I think 300 is enough for my encrypted password. And what else should I add for the user is role and address. As you remember from the previous video, I decided to simplify my application and 
and not to do role and address as separate tables. And I'm going to create uh, the last two tables. First table is purchase item. and count. Count is int field. And I'm gonna set count default as one. And that's it. And almost forgot to add foreign key for product table. And the last uh, table is order. Let me navigate to my IntelliJ idea and create the last table, order table. And I'm gonna link my order table with a user user table and purchase item table. And that's it for my database scripts and now uh, I'm gonna push my empty project with my script to the github I'm just gonna uh, follow these instructions from github first of all I'm gonna call is git init I navigate to my terminal and Push uh, git init. Let me copy paste it. Copy, paste, and that's it. Now my git initialized. I'm gonna click right button and I'm gonna use IntelliJ IDEA git tool and click add. The following directory may contain ignored files. Do you want to force edit? Of course not. If my git ignore contains files uh, which should not be in my git repo, I'm gonna ignore that files. I'm gonna click cancel and my um, git add only files which are required for my uh, git repository. It will ignore a the idea folder and other files which are just um, technical for our application and next thing is just git commit and git remote first thing I'm gonna git add remote and 
and then I'm going to use IntelliJ IDEA tool to commit and push. I'm going to call my commit message as init commit. And I'm going to click commit and push. Postpone save. And that's it. Now I created my project, I pushed it to GitHub, and I created an initial script for my project. In the next video, guys, we connect our project to the database and connect a flyway for our database uh, uh, to our database version control. That's it for today and stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and goodbye.